What do you do when you hear a dangerous storm is coming? Do you know how to keep yourself and your family safe? Every year, many thousands of people around the world are affected by coastal inundation when water causes flooding of coast areas. Usually, there are advance warnings, but sometimes coastal flooding can catch us by surprise and we may not be sure what to do. You may think that coastal inundation only happens if there is a tropical cyclone or storm with strong winds and heavy rain. But even faraway storms over the ocean and tsunamis can affect coastlines. Also, flooding from rivers can spill onto the coast. Any combination of these can lead to these dangerous coastal floods. To stay safe, it's important to know what to expect and what signs to look for. When a storm closes in on a coastline, strong winds push water towards the shore, causing the sea level to rise. This is called a storm surge. It can cause several meters of water to be pushed towards the shore and often many kilometers inland, quickly flooding low-lying areas, destroying property and putting lives in danger. Such inundation are more severe when the tide is high. Storm surge is historically the leading cause of cyclone-related deaths. Long periods of heavy rain can cause river levels to rise quickly and overflow their banks. Such flooding may come with no warning and can be very dangerous, especially if there is a storm surge at the same time. Even places which aren't experiencing tropical cyclones can be at risk of storm surge and flooding. Swell waves caused by storms can travel long distances from the storm center and may affect faraway shores for several days before and after a storm has passed. Powerful swells can break close to the shore or along reefs, pushing water onto land catching many people off guard. Coastal inundation puts both lives, livestock and livelihoods at risk. The damage to homes, roads, ports and other property can set back local economies. So how do we keep ourselves safe? If you live in an area that is at risk of coastal flooding, watch for early warning signs such as heavy rain, increasing onshore winds, increasing swells, Know your evacuation route and where emergency shelters are located. Listen to local alerting systems for current emergency information and instructions. If you are told to evacuate, do so immediately. Move to higher ground. If you're trapped in a building by flooding, go to the highest level. Do not climb into a closed attic as you may become trapped by rising water. Do not drive around barricades and stay off bridges. Fast moving water can wash bridges away without warning, undermine roads and sweep away cars. Do not walk, swim or drive through flood waters. Turn around, don't drown. By staying informed, we can keep ourselves and our families safe. Flood waters kill.